Welcome everyone, this is day 10 of uploading on YouTube every day, otherwise this channel will get deleted in the upcoming year and I'm not kidding, this is to prove that it's still possible to make it on YouTube in 2023. Anyway, the subject of the video today is to talk about the brand new EP slash album because at this point it more, it's more an album in my opinion, uh, just like uh, survival of uh, survival horror was in 2020 when it was released like three years ago already uh it has nine tracks over 30 minutes that's more an album than an ep in my book and i have the feeling that this new one next gen might even contains more tracks so at first bring me the horizon told us in 2019 after the release of ammo they said oh other than uh taking four years to uh, released an album, we'll just release four EPs in one year, which will consist of um, post-human, uh, the entire project. It's not true after all, because between uh, Survival Horror and Next Gen, we will have like almost four years from 2020 to uh, 2024, which is the same gap as between That's the Spirit and Ammo. Which makes no sense, but at least we got so many Brick Media Horizon content over the year uh, with all the singles now. <laughs> Five singles for uh, Next Gen, if we count um, Die For You and Strangers, because some people are kind of arguing that these won't be on the EP because they were released such a long time ago. Um, Strangers is over a year ago a year old sorry and die for you two years old i think so it's been a while but in my opinion they will still be on it and after that we've got all in uh, 2023 lost amen and dark side uh at first the, uh, the album or the ep was supposed to be released in september so i don't think dark side was meant to be a single um and you'll see where it land in my ranking um, in just an instant, but I just wanted to talk about this. And um, it's not all because we also got all the featuring that Ollie was on. I won't even name them because there were so many of them, at least as many as the singles, probably even more. So crazy stuff, guys. But the main point of this video, guys, is to rank the single uh, before... Um, this album slash EP gets released. With what I said earlier, it will not come as a surprise that for me, <laughs> Dark Side is at the bottom. So in the fifth position, I'm putting Dark Side. Um, it's a cool, catchy track, but it misses something in my opinion. It's, it's definitely not as strong as some of the other singles that were released so far. And even if you compare it with um, the singles for post-human survival horror, um, and not even just a single, all the tracks is probably one of the weakest one, in my opinion. Uh, well, not entirely, too. the more I think about it, the more I think that this is kind of the, at the same level of Obey from the last album, which was also a single and probably the weakest track of Survival Order, in my opinion. By the way, I will make so many enemies with this video because a lot of people will completely disagree with my ranking and my tastes in Bring Me the Horizon music. In the fourth position, um, I'm going with Die For You and starting with this one, they're all bangers, so nothing bad to say against them. Uh, I just feel like the other singles were so good that Die For You has to be in the fourth position, but I was really hyped when it was released and loved it like at the first lesson it's really catchy um really good indicator of where they were going with this ep in my opinion even though not all the songs sound the same but it kind of gave us a first taste and it was cool i still love to listen to this song it was a great one and a great choice as the first single and lead single if that's the case because like i said we don't even know if this will be on next gen and now guys 
entering the top three, I went with the heavy banger that is Amen. And knowing my music taste, a lot of you are probably surprised that this is not in the top one, the best song so far. Uh, but I just love Lost and Strangers so much. They're just way too catchy to be anywhere other than in the first two spots. But Amen is bringing back that old Bring Me a Horizon energy. I saw some video of them doing Amen Life. It's the perfect song to activate the crowd. I even think they were starting with this song live. I might be wrong on that statement though. Uh, but it's such a killer live. Uh, such a killer to listen to. So many features in this song. They nailed it. But the other two songs are just too good. Uh, and this is probably where I'll make the most enemies. And it's by putting strangers in the second position because I know a lot of people will, would put it like in the last place or just because I know a lot of people don't really like Strangers and Die For You but love the other singles so but in my opinion it's the best uh, chorus amongst all the singles so far um, this song I'm putting first to last that I'll talk after is stronger overall but just in terms of the chorus I have to put Strangers first. I remember when they um, published that video, I think Ollie was singing the chorus to Stranger at a live event or something. And I was so hyped right in this moment. And after hearing the studio version, it only got better. So yeah, Strangers is a banger. And now uh, in the first position, I'm putting Lost. It's just their biggest song. Um, and I think Spotify shows that as well. I think it's the one that got uh, the most streams, at least the fastest. Uh, and it keeps growing. Uh, I even have the game NHL uh, 24. I'm a big hockey fan. This song is featured in the game. And each time I'm hearing it, despite the fact that it is the censored version, I'm like, fuck yeah. It just put me in a good mood. Um, they nailed their version of Hyper Pop. It's crazy, uh, and it's definitely uh, one of the songs I listen to the most so far this year. I'll probably do a video soon uh, to show you guys my stats, um, to show you all the songs and albums I listen to the most so far in 2023, and Lust is definitely in the top 10. So yeah, I have no choice but to put it first. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to do a quick ranking um, just to help us wait until we get this new Bring Me The Horizon album slash EP. It will be interesting as well to see uh, when they will drop Posthuman 3 and 4, if it's still part of the plan, and just to see what it will do once uh, the full Posthuman album series is complete. Will they put that in a... Uh, an album on Apple Music and Spotify, uh, like massive, huge four parts album. It will be pretty interesting to see. If you have any information that I don't know yet on Next Gen, let me know down in the comment section. But I think that they put the physical copies released in January. So is this still true? Did they change the date? Because I don't think they have announced a new release date for the streaming version of the album to get released anyway guys enough talking in this one it was a really fun video to make hopefully you enjoyed it as well if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel and to leave a like on the video uh, it truly helps with the youtube algorithm thank you all so much and i'll see you all in the next one